I feel um, less dead, so I thought I would make something. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some country apple dumplings. This is very simple. The original recipe makes 16 dumplings, but again, I know y'all probably get tired of hearing me say this, I cook for two people, and so I'm gonna cut the recipe in half because um, we would eat the whole pan anyway, and we don't need to do that. You're gonna need a can of crescent rolls, the eight rolls. This is half the recipe. I'll put the full recipe down below. A Granny Smith apple. These are small, so I might still need to use like one and a half of them. We'll see. Some cinnamon, some sugar, a stick of butter, and here it is, the special ingredient, Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm gonna peel these apples, core them, and slice them. I'm hoping to get eight slices out of the apple. If not, I'll do two. I've got my stick of butter melting on the stove top. When it's melted, I'm going to add um, three quarter cups of sugar. Sorry, I had to look at my recipe because the brain's not working today. Three quarter cups of sugar and some cinnamon. And then we're gonna put this all together and pour the Mountain Dew over the top and it's gonna be phenomenal. Okay, I've chopped up my apples. I ended up cutting two apples up because I don't think one is gonna cut it. You take your piece of apple and your crescent roll, hope you can see. I'm starting at the smallest end of the crescent roll, and you're just gonna roll this puppy up. Spread it out a little bit. There we go. And then you're just gonna pinch the ends to seal them. Beep, beep. Easy, right? I'm gonna repeat that with the rest of this. Okay, I've done each dumpling, rolled them up, sealed them, Put them in a baking dish. I've already sprayed this. I have one cup, a stick of butter over here that's melted now. Turn the heat off. I'm gonna add three quarter cups of sugar with about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And just stir that in. Once that's combined, it doesn't have to be perfectly melted. We're just gonna pour that over the top and make a big mess because I wouldn't be cooking if I didn't make a mess. All right, and then we're going to add our, so normally it would be a 12 ounce can of Mountain Dew. We're doing six ounces. I know this does not sound like it tastes good. Trust me, just pour it over the top. Okay, that's it. We're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. It might take a little less time since I'm only doing eight of these, but we'll see. I'm going to put it in there. I'll let you know what it looks like when it comes. Oh, bubbly goodness. I just pulled it out of the oven. It baked for exactly 30 minutes. They're, you know, crunchy on the top, brown. And yes, there's supposed to be that much sauce in there or liquid. It's fine. It does that even when I make the full batch, but anyway... We're gonna wait for it to cool off and then we'll dig in. All right, here's my dumpling. I cut it open to let the steam out because it is hot, 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 hot. But let's do a taste test. Do a taste test. I love it when it's like crispy, crunchy on top from the sugar. Also not a low calorie food. Um, let's just call it what it is. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Oh my God hot. Really, really good. Hope you guys give these a try. You will not be disappointed.